Hello guys, hope you can hear me okay with all the traffic going by. But um, I just wanted to show you at the end of a busy week, so we're just getting our vans prepped, ready for the next week. So I just wanted to show you some of the equipment that we use. So first of all, foremost, we've got our blankets here. So we use all of them to protect our customers' furniture. We wrap things, stack them in the van, and then nothing can get scratched or damaged. We've got a couple of carpet runners here. We've got two carpet runners. So basically we put them into the entrance hall and maybe another one. We don't cover the whole house with carpet runners because quite frankly we just need loads and loads of them. But we do do our best to um, you know, cover the entrance halls and by that point most of the time uh, the shoes are clean anyway. You know, So it's not going to dirty any carpets. We've got two of them. We always take a couple of boxes. Even if the customers packed all the boxes themselves, more often than not, there's always a couple of things that we would have to pack. Um, so we take a couple of spare boxes just in case and a roll of tape. And lastly, we take our sack truck. And our sack truck, we put it off here so you can see it. And you don't know what it is. Basically, it just helps us move any heavy items. We could do multiple boxes in here instead of just carrying one at a time. Put that back there. Yeah, and that's it. So that, that's what a tiny van looks like. We've also swept the vehicle as well. So um, all the dust from the other moves and that, it's just all swept out. So it's nice and clean and ready to go. So yeah, that, that's what our vans look like in preparation for a move. And yeah, what I nearly forgot, guys, was the ties. So we've got ties here. As you can see, we've got two tie bars. So if we're stacking anything in like a mattress, and a bed like loads of bed parts to stop everything from moving what we do is we stack it against the side and we use these ties to tie everything in so nothing can move nothing can move in transit that's the secret to moving basically so pack tightly so nothing can move so our vehicle of choice guys is a fiat ducato um, we just find it perfect for Guernsey. It's not ideal for removals, to be honest with you, because it's, um, it's a loot and van with a tail lift, but the tail lift comes in handy for heavy things. I mean, ideally, we would have a large removal vehicle, but because it's Guernsey, we're limited by the tight driveways, the small lanes, you know? Um, so we, we've got a Ford Transit as well, which is slightly bigger, but our vehicle of choice is probably the Fiat Ducatos, because we can get these more or less anywhere in Guernsey. Um, it's a shame that we are limited to what we can use. Sometimes we're making multiple trips and a move and we not necessarily would need to if we had the vehicle access. But so it goes, you know, it's Guernsey after all and we just got to work with what we can do with the islands. Um, sometimes when we have to close the road, one way a road, you know, the traffic committee are always helpful in that way. So there's always a way to get it done. But in Guernsey, things just take a little bit longer and removals is no different. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Relocation TV. Please subscribe to our channel.